Alright, hey guys, and welcome to the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I am the Clean LP guy, and in this episode, we are gonna go get that treasure chest that has been haunting us for forever already. Alright, we're gonna go climb up here if I can, and dive off! Well, that wasn't really a dive. What was that? Jiminy. Oh, whoa, that was a pretty fancy smooth there. Smooth. That was a fancy, fancy, yeah. Alright, there is a tunnel down here that we can go down. And we can come up. All right. Um, I don't think I said it again. All right, I'm the Clean LP guy, and uh, this episode, we're gonna go around Skyloft in the sky, get a few different things. This is going to be something special, I suppose. I, I don't remember for sure. Hey, a piece of heart! All right, so we started off on a really good high note. We got a piece of heart that would have totally replenished everything if we had that opportunity. But we didn't really need to replenish anything. Hey, we got a silver rupee. Awesome. Another whopping 100 rupees. That should put us up over a thousand. Sweetness. All right. Um, we are going to need to go to some other places. But first, I want to show you guys this off. Um, now that we can swim under the water, we can actually come here. Because before we wouldn't be able to. Oh, I guess we would have. But we can actually dig some stuff up here now and get some rupees. Um, there's 15 rupees inside that hole, maximum probably, and another 10 right there. Awesome. Um, there's another one rupee there. Do not fall down the waterfall, otherwise the dudes from Skyloft will be like, Hey, you fell off. We're going to save you because we're the knights. And you're not. and You're just too young to be a knight. Whatever, whatnot, Jersey. Anyways, now we are going to... You know what? Let's check out Beetle's airshop ship. Um, can I hit that with a whip? No, I'm not going to try it. We're just going to use the Beetle. And we're gonna speed up and play music. No, I'm kidding. We're gonna speed up and hit this. Hey, you wanna come up with me, Fludge? It's a nice opportunity to get some cool stuff. No? Okay. You snooze, you lose. All right, so we're gonna just uh, make our way to the top here. Run right inside, Beatles Airshop ship. All right. Now, what do we have in here? We've got that and we've got what is this one priced at? I forget. It's like a thousand rupees, right? Something like that. A thousand two hundred. All right, we are close, but we won't be able to get it yet. All right, you're gonna be able to see something that actually is very funny that happens. Ah, well, I've kind of found it not funny. Oh, please wait a minute. Do you know how heavy you are? I have to pedal extra hard with you up here. Then you have the gall to leave without buying anything. Off with you. I think it's hilarious that he's like, decides to do this, and it's like, you just lost your customer. No, I'm kidding. Um, wow. That takes a forever, and <laughs> your Fledge is right there. What are you staring at, punk? I just stabbed Fledge! Look at this, I'm stabbing Fledge! Wow. Alright, whatever. <laughs> I just stabbed Fledge, and he didn't flinch. Dude, you're pretty strong if you're doing that. Um, you don't need to worry about that that thingy bob jigger we're gonna actually go out of skyloft and figure out what we have for chests out here because we should have one chest i believe out here um i believe that's gonna be somewhere around here oh we have two that are way over here inside the um dark cloud so we're gonna get those when we come uh to zoom out there when we go to um get the song the next song which will probably be in the next episode because i don't imagine it'll take us very long to finish up what's at the lumpy pumpkin and get some things finished out there all right so let's see if we can get this 20 ruby i almost tried to get a 20 ruby from these jerks before ow he hurt me i didn't have enough of those little things Ugh, i don't like you Ugh. all right here we go um, sometimes things open up when you do the Isle of Song stuff, but I think that's mostly just for the first one. It's what I think it is. I'm not entirely sure. Alright, here we go. Um, just so you guys know, this thing that we're doing, I'm actually not all that good at it. Um, it does involve the harp, and I don't feel that I'm very good with the harp. If I get it on the first try, I'm gonna be very surprised, and I may actually party hardy, uh till the end of the episode. Anyways, here we go. Oh, it's you. What should I have you work on next? Oh yeah, you've got that interesting uh, looking instrument. I got it. I've got the perfect job for you. But that job can only be done at night. Wait until nightfall and come back and see me, alright? 
All right, so you're like, okay, wait, if we try and fly at night, that won't work. We can't sit anywhere and stay till night. Well, if you remember, there are beds in the back. All right, how long do you want to sleep? Until nighttime. If you stay until morning, it's going to be kind of useless, and yeah. All right, now before we do the little task that Luigi wants us to do, there are a couple things that we can get really quick. Um, I believe there are only two, if I'm not mistaken. There are only two things, and there's still people here. There's like... It's not like a hotel in bed. Hey, we're gonna grab crystal sweetness. Hey, that guy was at the bar at the bazaar. We got a gratitude crystal. Show them to Beedrix. Yabba dabba dabba. Send the monkey to the chimp. The chip. All right. Uh, what did you have to say? Wow, I didn't know people were skydiving over the lumpy pumpkin. Diving? What? I heard there are colorful critters that sometimes uh, accompany you when you skydive. I wonder if something good happens when they appear. Seems only right. What? What are you talking about? What on earth are you talking about, sir? Alright, um, does it still have this sign? No, rough housing on the balcony. Big work. Just cause the chandelier to shake. But the chandelier isn't here. Uh, I can't believe that rhymed. Alright, if you guys notice, I actually have full health. That is because we, um, oh, because I took a nap on the bed, and that replenishes your hearts. I believe I've said that, I think I said that on a very, well, one of the first few episodes of this series. But that is actually true. What is- Oh, fireflies? Let's see if we can get some fireflies. There are still pumpkins here. She is horrible at harvesting. She had me carry like five, and now she's like, hey, oh, we're done. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can collect- Ah, gotcha! I think I got a new guy. You caught a starry firefly. I believe this guy's new. I believe- Yes! He's one of the few that we have left to get. We only have two more. Hey, where are you? Come back here. A little turkey. That's not fair. I can't go out there. Meh. Hey, wait, what is that shiny object? It's another gratitude crystal! And there's some pumpkins here. Why are there pumpkins here? Okay, yes, we know what gratitude crystals are. Oh, right. And 37. Awesome. So now we have three more somewhere else lying around. There we go. Let's just destroy his pumpkins. Um, and his pots. Whoa, there is a mantis. That is not what I wanted. I wanted the mantis catcher. There we go. Let's collect a mantis. You got a Skyloft mantis. I don't know why he's over here if there's a Skyloft mantis. Apparently he flew the entire distance that my loft wing flew and didn't run into any bad guys who wanted to eat him. Like birds or anything like that. But anyways, now we're going to go talk with the dude at the bar, Luigi. We're going to talk with Luigi and see what he has to say about our job and what we have to do. These guys look like they are bored. Oh, uh, you came. Let me see. What was it I wanted you to do next? Huh? What's that? That's a strange looking instrument you have there. You noticed it earlier today. Oh, yes. You might be uh, might just be surprised to hear that Kina is actually quite the singer. What does that have to do with my instrument? It wasn't that long ago that she was she would sing for our customers, but she had to stop because her partner quit. She had a partner? What? Think you'd be willing to do uh think you'd be willing to do a quick duet with Kina? Of course. Great, that's what I want to hear. But make sure you put your heart into it. I won't stand for anything but your best. Okay, I'm not very good with this harp. Customers will start waving their arms as Kina sings her song. So you can just follow them if you need a guide to the rhythm you should be you should be playing. Pick a customer whose movements are easy for you to follow and strum with them to stay on the right tempo. Don't worry about the direction of your strumming. Just make sure you're not playing too fast or too slow and uh, use nice big sweeping motions to strum. When the customer stops moving, it's your chance to freestyle a little bit and play however you like. Which only happens once. It's all about playing the rhythm, got it? Yes, I got it. Okay. Alright then. Hey, Kina! <laughs> yes, father, what is it? This kid is going to accompany you while you sing. Now how about letting your pops hear your, that beautiful voice of yours, eh? Of course, let's do it, kid. Kid. Dude, I'm probably the same age as you. Oh my gosh. Okay, they put their arms in the air, and you have to go. And you have to kind of judge how they're going to do it. I'm not entirely sure how to do this thing at all. I feel like I'm going to totally fail. But anyways. 
I feel like I'm totally gonna fail, and I'm totally not talking a whole lot, because I feel like this is gonna be horrible. Um, I'm totally watching the guy in the gray beard, but, um, I feel like I'm totally gonna fail at this. Sometimes I watch the guy in the pink, but, yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm totally off key now. Oh, great. I'm gonna totally fail this, guys. I feel like I can totally fail this already. I'm like, I'm gonna have to do this more than once. I'm totally gonna have to do this more than once. I feel like they're gonna just, like, totally not like this song at all. They're totally not gonna like it. If they like it, I'm gonna- Yeah, I knew it. They are gonna like it. Huh, I thought it would sound a lot better when you played it, just cause that's- So it's a pretty little instrument you have there. Yeah, but I'm not very good. The customers didn't seem impressed, either. Yeah, I'm not very good with the instrument right now, okay? I just started. Okay. <laughs> is that your sad little idea of what music is? What? Don't let me- uh, Don't look at me like that, you think even- Wait, 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 wait yeah, okay. Don't look at me like you think you, you're you even now. You're crazy. I'm not paying you for that. You're gonna have to try again later. What? Oh my gosh, you serious? So hey, so you're playing play for Kina? I'm in. <laughs> yeah, just let's just do it. Alright, I'm not gonna read this again. I'm not gonna speak this time, guys. I'm gonna focus. So if you guys wanna just listen to the music, that's okay. If you wanna just like skip ahead because you know what to do, go ahead and do it. Um, I'm just gonna do this and try and do it my best as possible. No talking. That was totally fail. Yeah, I knew it. Totally fail. <laughs> yes, yes, I've seen this before. It takes me like three or four times to do this, so, um, yeah. What in the blue skies was that? Yes, it's not even blue outside. It's a starry night. I know I fail, okay? Let me just do this again. Yes, I'm in. Let's just do this until I get it. Great, I was hoping you'd say that. All right, then, hey, Gita. Yes, father. Y yes, father. <laughs> All right, kid, here you go. I hate being called a kid. No. I totally failed. I'm gonna follow pink shirt, dude.
they failed on that one too. I didn't get that one at all. Whoa, sweet, I got it. I have no idea if they like do. I guess you could call that playing, sort of. To tell the truth, I found your performance a little lacking. Yeah, I did too, but you didn't need to tell me about it. I can't say I can't say it knocked my socks off, but you know, for the first try, you did good enough. For the first try, that was my third. Wow. With this, I say you're e we're even. You don't have to work for me anymore. Great job. You know, I'm going to buy a new chandelier to replace the old one. It really fancied up the place. Yeah, that's true. Considering all the hard work you put in here, I feel like I should give you a little something. Take these. Seriously? Sweet, I got another piece of heart! Awesome! So, it's really beneficial that you do this. You get two pieces of heart, one for knocking down the chandelier, and then the other for doing all the events. Maybe you could swing by later, yep, as a customer next time. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that, honestly. Do I have anything right now? Is this empty? EMPTY! You know what? I might actually do something right now. Okay. Let's not scoop. Let's talk. Megover, you're off the hook, and I'll even say you did a good job. I thought you might give a part, uh, give a part away, though, but you stuck to it. You stuck it out. I hope you'll come back and see me again, but as a customer next time. No, I want, I want to buy f Dude, you don't know when a customer is looking you in the face. Alright, anyways, we're gonna have to sleep anyways, because we need to go until morning. I'm gonna buy some pumpkin in the morning, and I'll meet you guys outside. So, I will see you guys in the next episode, where we continue on.